Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach claims immigration reform activists who protested outside his home this week were committing acts of intimidation and were no different than the KKK. The story was making national news this week. This is exactly, they're just not wearing white cloaks, but this is exactly KKK type of intimidation. The Kansas Secretary of State calls what happened on his front porch this past weekend, quote, appalling. Hundreds of people from the Sunflower Community Action Group came to his home to protest against his stance on immigration. Watch this. We've left these shoes here so that Mr. Kobach can maybe try to fill them because these are the shoes of the fathers that he's deported, that have been deported by his laws that he's lobbied for and passed. Kobach separates families. Now, thankfully, Mr. Kobach and his family were not home at the time, but he said that if he was, he would have been very afraid, especially since it took police 15 minutes to respond. Me. Now, bear in mind, bear... So why did they go to Kobach's private home in the first place? Isn't that crossing a line, Stacy? Well, the reason they did it, they had originally gone to Topeka several times, this Wichita-based group, to try to confront Kobach at his secretary of state office, but... They were told by state officials that the activities that you're worried about, these certain state laws and these immigration policies that he's drafted, he's doing out of his own private uh, law practice, and the office is at home. So they went there to confront him, and they crossed a serious line. If this group had any legitimacy, when they went on to his front step, they lost any legitimacy they had. You've got an absolute right in public places to protest someone's policies or protest their viewpoints. But when you come onto their home, when you come onto private property, you've crossed a line. Now, Kobach did too. I mean, these weren't KKK type of intimidation tactics. KKK murdered people. They lynched people. They burned crosses in people's front lawns. This group hasn't done it. But unfortunately, anything that they wanted to say got thrown out the window when they made Kobach look like a victim. And he could go on Glenn Beck, he could go on Sean Hannity and start to say, look at me, I've been threatened. Uh, they've used terrorist tactics. So this became a whole joke and we lost track of the real issue, which was immigration policy and reform in this country. Is there anything illegal, though, to go to somebody's home and be protesting like that? Oh, certainly not. And if anybody knows that, uh, you know, Stacy does, uh, because you can go and knock on anybody's door anytime you want. Uh, and if uh, and and you only have to leave if they tell you you have to go where there's a no trespassing. No, 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 that's a, a, absolute, okay. absolutely no, no. wrong. There, look, yeah. th th this is clearly a case of civil trespass. Yeah. If there were any damage to his property, it's a prime facie case. He wins. Whether or not it's going to be a criminal trespass case, very well may be. You don't have the right to go up. First Amendment rights on public spaces, absolutely. But to come up his sidewalk, to stand on his front porch, to bang on the door, to continue to ask them to call out, there is a question as to whether or not that was criminal trespass. Civilly, they clearly trespass. So it's a clear line. I mean, it, it, it's something that we don't want. It's something that we don't invite in this country. So I, I beg the exception. It's clearly civil trespass. It very well may be criminal trespass. Let's remember, police in that jurisdiction are now investigating to see whether a crime was committed. Well, of so. course they're going to investigate because the Secretary of State has called them up and said, you know yes. what, you need to investigate. I still don't think there was a criminal trespass there. But I think the more important issue here is that all of a sudden, Chris Kobach goes on TV and he starts talking about the Second Amendment. You know, it's this notion in politics of, you know, man the parapets, prepare to repel borders. And mind you, I know I'm mixing my military metaphors here, but uh, the fact that he would even talk about going to get a gun for some group that includes nuns and priests with the name Sunflower in their title is an outrage. Uh, and I think that has gotten lost in the, uh, in the debate. But by and large, though, you don't normally see scores, or in this case, hundreds of protesters outside a public official's home. We have not seen that in our broader metropolitan area, have we, Dave, it, it, against it, politicians? It's not. It, it happens in this we area. It doesn't happen at all. But it, does it, or, but it yeah. has happened. It yes. has happened in other places, but it's very rare. Uh, the, the law is a little bit confusing on some of this stuff, as you've heard around this table. I think what, the, as a political matter, Nick, the problem is that Chris Kobach's influence in the immigration debate was clearly on the wane. I mean, he lost the Arizona case. Mitt Romney, in essence, disowned him earlier in the presidential campaign, despite you know Chris's role in advising them on immigration policy. He, his, his star was really fading nationally about immigration. This protest actually revived that and makes him once again sort of the poster child, poster man, whatever, for immigration 
uh, opposition in the uh, in the United States. And in that sense, the sunflower protest as a political matter probably backfired. Eric, I think they did it to Funkhauser uh, during his first term. Well, the first couple of months that he was in office, they went by his home, but they were out well, on Francis the side, Simler, right? wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. On Simler, right? Yeah. Exactly. And also, one of the school board members. When they were going through the thing with Ace, a uh, school went by uh, Carl Evans' house on Prospect and was protesting and walked up on his front step. Uh, I think he has a trespassing sign. That's where the problem came in at. But I would agree that I think I don't think it was appropriate. You know, his family is in there. If he's got kids or so forth, I think that draws the line. Catch him in his car, backing out of his driveway or something. But to come up on his property, that changes the complexion of the conversation from what you're talking about immigration to you actually trespassing coming on my property endangering my family and I think that that's the two they could have caught him in the Capitol parking lot or something and said something even though it's yes. something that he's doing privately I think they were out of law